Have you been considering installing solar batteries but not sure if they're worth it? I'm Sue Angel from Green Match and in this video we'll explain what solar batteries are, their pros and cons, important battery specifications and more. By the end of it, you'll know what to consider before investing in solar batteries for your home. Now, let's dive in. What are solar batteries and how do they work? A solar battery is an energy storage solution that's paired with a solar panel system. With a solar battery, you can store electricity your panels generated during the day and then use it when the sun has gone down. As a side note, you can have a battery storage system without solar panels, where you capture power from the national grid to use whenever you want. This wouldn't be defined as solar battery storage, but rather just battery storage. And this video will only focus on solar batteries. There are two types of solar battery storage systems, hybrid systems and off-grid systems. A hybrid system includes battery storage but is supported by the electric grid. With this type of system, your panels can generate electricity during the day and surplus electricity will be sent to your batteries to be stored. Any extra electricity will be fed to the grid. At night, instead of relying on the grid, you can use the stored electricity from your batteries. An off-grid system doesn't have the support of the grid. With this type of system, you are 100% energy independent and self-reliant. This means you'll need a large enough solar panel system and solar battery to power your household's energy needs. Off-grid systems are not as common as hybrid systems in the UK, with approximately 75,000 to 100,000 households living off the grid. What are the main components of solar batteries? To store solar energy in your batteries, of course you'll first need solar panels and an inverter. For a full breakdown of how to find the best solar panels, check out our other video. For batteries specifically, you will need a charge controller, the batteries and a battery enclosure. The charge controller is an essential component if you have batteries. It regulates the voltage and current flowing from the panel to the batteries which prevents them from overcharging. The batteries themselves are where the electricity is stored and the battery enclosure is what houses the batteries to keep them sheltered for safety and regulation purposes. Solar batteries are not cheap, so the main question you'll need to ask yourself is, are the batteries worth the cost? To help you evaluate this, we'll run through some key pros and cons of having a solar battery storage system. What are the advantages of solar batteries? One of the biggest incentives is to maximize the use of your solar panel system and increase your energy independence. If you already have a solar panel system, you're likely wondering how you can get even more out of it. Without a battery, you're reliant on the grid to supply electricity when the sun has gone down, which can increase your utility bills. Or, on a day when your panels have generated a surplus, that would just go right back to the grid. With a battery, on the other hand, you'll be able to save more energy to use when it suits you best. For example, if you're not home during the day, which is when your solar panels generate the most units of electricity, you can use a battery to store that energy and instead use it when you get home. For some, having that increased flexibility and independence can mean a great deal and is an incentive to install solar batteries. Being more energy independent means you can significantly reduce your carbon footprint, which is another great advantage of solar batteries. Solar energy is an abundant source of energy, and with solar batteries, you can even use more of that renewable energy source to power up your home, thereby reducing your carbon footprint. What's more, solar batteries can protect you from power cuts. Power cuts can happen for a number of reasons, from severe weather, accidents, or routine works on the network. Fortunately, they don't happen often in the UK, but should they happen, the effects can be damaging. A common solution to power outages is to use a diesel generator as backup. Not only is this process noisy and disruptive to you and your neighbors, but a diesel generator has a large carbon footprint. A solar battery system can power certain parts of your home for a few hours, which can be a great buffer if the grid does go down. What are the disadvantages of solar batteries? Before you invest in solar batteries, you need to be aware of the drawbacks. They don't make financial sense for everyone, so the advantages need to outweigh the disadvantages we are about to go through. First and foremost, you need to be aware of the setup cost of solar batteries. Depending on the battery size, you could be paying anything from £1,500 to £13,000. 
For example, the Tesla Powerwall, which is a 13.5 kilowatt hour battery, currently costs approximately £8,000. It's important for you to calculate the return on your investment with your specific energy habits in mind and decide whether the high setup costs are worthwhile. You're not likely to save money by installing solar batteries, but you will be able to make better use of the electricity your panels generate. If you're home all day and use electricity during the hours your panels are producing energy, then batteries might not be necessary at all. So always calculate the ROI before you buy. Another downside to batteries is that their usability is weather dependent. This is connected to the fact that your panels are weather dependent or rather sunlight dependent. If you have a day with barely any sunlight, your panels will produce less electricity than on a sunny day, which means your batteries won't be able to store as much. Having said that, solar panels can still produce energy during overcast days and in the winter. In fact, we dedicated a whole video to cover the topic of how efficient solar panels are in the winter, so check this out here. Another aspect to normal about weather dependency is that if the temperature drops below freezing, then you may see a drop in the functionality of your solar batteries. Low lifespan is another disadvantage of solar batteries. Generally speaking, solar batteries last anywhere from 3 to 12 years, which if you compare to the lifespan of your solar panels, it is of course shorter. The actual lifespan will depend on a number of factors like the quality and the type of battery you're using. The final disadvantage to be aware of is that there's a degree of maintenance required to preserve your battery's lifespan. Lead acid batteries, for example, require routine cleaning and to have the water levels topped up. And you can't just use regular water, it has to be distilled water. But lithium ion batteries really need any maintenance. What types of batteries are there? The two types of batteries we just mentioned are the two most common domestic solar batteries, lead acid batteries and lithium ion batteries, which we refer to just as lithium batteries. Lead acid batteries have been on the market for decades and are usually the more affordable option, while lithium batteries are newer and typically have a longer lifespan. When choosing which battery type to buy, you should look at their specifications. Though lithium batteries are typically known as being higher quality, you can definitely find high quality lead acid batteries that can satisfy your energy needs. With that in mind, let's move on to the next question, which is what battery specifications should you consider? There are many technical specifications and it can be overwhelming figuring out what's important. Each specification will give you an indication of the capacity factors or lifetime factors. First of all, you need to find a battery with the relevant capacity and power. The capacity you choose ultimately depends on your energy needs. You can find batteries that have a capacity of 3 kilowatt hours or 13 kilowatt hours. You can also stack batteries to increase the total capacity. Now, a battery's capacity doesn't directly translate to usable power. To get a better picture of how much usable power a battery can provide, take a look at the power rating which is measured in kilowatts. The reason you can't use the full capacity of a battery is because of the depth of discharge, also called the DOD. The DOD, which is expressed as a percentage, signifies the amount of power that you can withdraw from a battery before you should charge it again. Due to their composition, batteries shouldn't be emptied out completely, so in reality, you want to use 100% of your battery's capacity. A lead acid battery usually has a DOD of 50%, meaning you shouldn't use more than 50% of its capacity before recharging. Lithium batteries usually have a DOD of 80%, so you can empty it until it's about 20% full until you should recharge it. If you do go beyond the recommended DOD, you risk significantly reducing the battery's overall lifespan. The battery cycle is another specification that determines the battery's lifespan. Batteries have a total number of battery cycles they can complete. One cycle is complete when a fully charged battery is discharged until it's DOD and then charged back up again to 100%. So the number of cycles a battery can complete is an indication of how long it will last. Finally, the battery's end of lifetime is another important factor. The industry standard for this specification is 80%. This means that when the battery can only reach 80% of its original capacity, it's time to replace it. Are there financing options for solar batteries? There are some financing options to make solar batteries more affordable. In Scotland, homeowners can get up to £6,000 for a solar battery storage system using the Home Energy Scotland loan. 
This is an entrance fee loan funded by the Scottish Government to help make energy and money-saving improvements to your home. You can apply for a loan for one energy storage system, including a solar battery storage system. For loan amounts under £5,000, you have up to five years to pay the loan back. And for loan amounts between £5,000 and £9,999, you have up to 10 years. To qualify, you either need to apply for a renewable system at the same time or already have an existing system that it can connect to. The Smart Export Guarantee is another way to finance your solar battery installation. This scheme, which came into effect in January 2020, enables you to sell surplus electricity back to the national grid at a small price. Not all energy suppliers are obliged to offer the export tariffs though, and if they do, they can set their own tariffs as long as they provide a fair price. A tariff of 4 to 6 pence per kilowatt hour is common. Also, not every energy supply includes exporting energy from a battery storage in their tariffs, so you'll have to do your own research and assess whether or not it's beneficial for your setup. Customers buying solar batteries along with a new solar PV system can benefit from a VAT reduction, with the VAT as 5% as opposed to the standard 20%. The VAT reduction is only applicable for battery storage systems that are installed at the same time as a solar PV system, where the total cost of the equipment doesn't exceed 60% of the total cost of the installation. And you must either be over 60 years old or be on income or disability benefits to qualify. Grant schemes can close and terms can change, so for the latest information about financing options, we recommend reading our article on greenmatch.co.uk. The link is in the description below. What is the future of solar batteries? Right now, solar batteries don't make financial sense for everyone, and the price point is a big drawback for many. It's said that the price is likely to drop over the years, like it did for solar panels. Whether or not this will happen, time will tell. An area that's been developed is storage capacity and duration. When talking about this, the flow battery comes to mind. It's a rechargeable battery, but unlike the lithium battery, it can store more energy for longer amounts of time, enough to power up thousands of homes. Over time, the flow battery could be a reasonably priced alternative for domestic solar batteries with longer life cycles, but much of this is still in development. Hopefully by now you have a good idea of how solar batteries work and how they can be beneficial if you do choose to invest in them. Our biggest piece of advice is to always do your research first. If you found this video useful and you want to see more content like this, then go ahead and subscribe to our channel. We'll be releasing more green energy related content in the future. Before we get started, please take a moment to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get more energy. <laughs> One cycle is complete when a fully discharged. <laughs> Tesla Powerwall. It's because, like, I always say Powerball. Like, I always say Tesla Powerball. <laughs> Powerwall. <laughs>